Getting the truth from women about why they make terrible dating choices is really hard because they get very defensive. Occasionally, a woman will let her guard down out of pure desperation because she needs help. She's confused about her own attraction. Why do I like these guys? Why do I keep behaving in this way? And it's in those rare moments that you can hear beautiful confessions of truth. And this video is one of those confessions. I want you to listen closely. Okay, I have a genuine question that I need someone to answer for me. So, my very first boyfriend, I don't even count him because we didn't date that long. But, you know, I f with him. I, I liked him. He cheated on me. And it wasn't until after he cheated on me where I was like, oh my god, like, I like him, you know, I, I, I love him. My second boyfriend was my longest relationship and my last relationship. I remember somewhere in the middle, he like texted his ex and I was like, oh my God. It wasn't until after he texted his ex where I really started f***ing with him. And then we broke up. And it wasn't until he stopped giving me attention where I was like, I love this man. He was my first love. But when I was in a relationship with him, I, I didn't even see long term with him. Like I liked him, but it wasn't like that. So my question is, what does that mean for me? What is the underlying issue? A lot of women claim to dislike men who are like fuck boys, like living that playboy lifestyle, being really promiscuous, having lots of casual sex with women. They claim to really dislike those men. They're lying. Most women who claim to hate promiscuous men are completely full of it. They're total hypocrites. And I'm gonna prove it in this video. Now, maybe there are some women out there who genuinely dislike fuck boys, but I'll tell you what, just because that's what she's claiming, that's what she's saying to me, I'm not gonna accept that at face value. I have some follow-up questions because like so many of the myths in in our culture that are spread just so that they can make women look good, but they don't actually withstand any kind of scrutiny. This myth that women hate players, hate the fuckboys, is just like that. If you actually look a little bit closer, you notice massive inconsistencies. Women doing one thing and saying another. So in this video, I'm going to share a checklist of five criteria that a woman needs to pass before I'm personally satisfied that she's telling the truth when she says she doesn't like players. Number one, does she find those kinds of men desirable? Because if she finds those kind of guys attractive, then her claims to not like their casual sex player lifestyle is not based on any kind of moral stand or righteous cause that she's standing up for. She's just a woman who's personally been rejected and she's bitter about it. It's a tale as old as time. She's just a woman who's been scorned. But if her ego is so fragile that she can't handle the idea of her being rejected by a man, then the hamster wheel of rationalization starts spinning and she backwards rationalizes that the reason why she's feeling so negative towards him is because she's a moral person and she doesn't approve of all of that promiscuity. She's lying. If she really didn't approve of those types of men and what they did, then she wouldn't <clears throat> find them attractive. The hard truth of it is that it is specifically his fuckboy personality that makes her attracted to him. His confidence, his options, his unavailability, it makes him appear as though he's really high quality and that's why she wants him. And guess what? All of his player lifestyle stories, all of his promiscuity, it wouldn't be a problem if she was the girl who successfully locked him down because then it would just be adding to her glory of her feminine power because look, I managed to tame this roaming male. That's how amazing a woman I am. Such is the power of my femininity. I got him to be monogamous. I got him to be loyal, to commit to me, to give up all those other kinds of women. Yes, me, me, me. I'm amazing. But when she gets rejected, oh, I hate men like that. I just don't approve of men who sleep around. No, I just think it's immoral to lead that kind of lifestyle. Bullshit. You got rejected and you're bitter. You actually love those kinds of men. You're just pissed off because they don't love you back. I also call bullshit on any women who claim to be morally against fuckboys while engaging in casual sex themselves. That's actually my number two criteria. Before I believe a woman who says that she doesn't approve of promiscuity in men, I have to ask the question, are you promiscuous yourself? You have to practice what you preach. And that's also my number three criteria, which is what standards does she hold her female friends to? What I've noticed is that lots of women can be massively sexist on this issue. They can hold huge double standards where they're judging men for sleeping around by one set of criteria, but their close female friends by a completely different set of criteria. What I mean specifically is that if they're talking about a man who has a very colorful past, he slept with lots of women, it's judgment, it's blame.
blame, it's shame. It's like, oh, look at how disgusting his behavior was. So selfish, so immature. You know, she'll rant and rave about how awful men are. But if you're talking about one of her close female friends who had some colorful years in college, you know, sleeping around with lots of boys, it's like she was young. She was trying to find herself. It's empowering for her. Don't you judge her. Casual sex is selfish and immature when a man does it, but not when a woman does it. I'm not saying all women hold this double standard. What I'm saying is that before I believe you when you're criticizing fuckboys for their casual sex behavior, I just first want to check how you feel about your female friends and all the guys they've slept with. You cannot have it both ways. In order for you to have any credibility with me, your standards need to be applied consistently. Otherwise, you don't really have any principled moral stance against casual sex. You're just a man hater. You're just being sexist and you're using this idea of criticizing fuckboys as a convenient bludgeon with which to cripple men. That hypocrisy is also what's exposed in my number four criteria. Before I believe any woman who claims to hate fuckboys and hate all their casual sex lifestyle, I first want to ask her what are her views about gay male culture? Lots of women pride themselves on being like allies to the gay community and having lots of gay male friends and I have no issue with that. I think homophobia is moronic. But here's the thing about gay male culture is that it's often really promiscuous. That's no surprise, right? It's a sexual community made up of men and we know how men's sex drive is. But then I want to know how she feels about her gay male best friend and all of his promiscuity. If he's sleeping around with lots of men, how does she feel about all that casual sex? Is she against that? Does she have some kind of moral stand that she wants to take with regards to his behavior? Does she have some kind of principled objection against what he's doing? Or is it different somehow because her best friend is gay and he's not straight. So therefore his promiscuity, his casual sex is just him experimenting. It's just him, you know, finding himself. Now, to be clear, I'm not saying that there's no validity to that perspective. It's definitely worth discussing, but you cannot be a hypocrite. You can't have one rule for gay men and another rule for straight men, because otherwise you've just proved that this is all just about you. You're being selfish. You're being hypocritical. Casual sex and promiscuous male behavior, suddenly you have a moral stand against it because it has the potential to affect you, a straight woman. But so long as it's just men sleeping with other men, suddenly you don't care, you don't have any moral issue with that. Well, in that case, you've just proved it's all about you. You see, all this moral grandstanding and virtue signaling it's actually just a smokescreen to advance a particular type of agenda because in their heart of hearts, a lot of women are hoping to play out that fantasy of taming the fuckboy, one day domesticating him, you know, taking this really high quality roving male and then locking him down, having him all to herself. And so she shames all this promiscuous behavior because she thinks she's going to be able to use that as a tool later on in order to ensnare him in her grasp. It's incredibly dishonest and hypocritical and that hypocrisy is also displayed in my final criteria, which is number five. I want to know how she feels about male celebrities and like really top tier men. Because what I have observed is that women tend to have different sets of rules for men based on the quality that they perceive those men to be. So like your average guy, you know, just a regular nice dude, his expectations from women is that he's going to be committed, he's going to be monogamous, he's going to be loyal, faithful, he's going to provide for her and the children, and that is his destiny. And anything outside of that is really worthy of judgment. But if the guy is really famous or like really rich, really top tier kind of man, and he's sleeping around, you know, he's dating models, he's dumping girls and replacing them for younger women. Well, that's fine. I mean, of course, who wouldn't do that in his position? You know, that kind of guy, we sort of expect that from him. In the mind of a woman, holding those double standards, those different rules is justifiable when you understand that at the core of it, the reason why she has those different rules is because she's hoping they're going to benefit her. When she meets that regular guy, what she wants from him is commitment and loyalty and some stability. And so she wants to indoctrinate him into this worldview that says that as a man, this is your duty. You do not step outside of this box. But women also have a different sexual strategy running, which is I want to sleep with some really top tier guy and get impregnated by him so that I can raise that really high quality offspring and potentially get some other chump to raise him. If you haven't seen my videos on how cuckoldry is actually built into women's instinct, into their biology, 
biology, you've got to watch it. I'll put a link down below. It's mind blowing. But you can see there from her own selfish perspective why she's completely fine with like top tier male celebrities sleeping around, living that player lifestyle. It's because in the back of her mind somewhere here, she wants that opportunity to be able to be that girl, to have him for just one night. I'm telling you for a lot of these women, there is no principled moral stand against players, against fuck boys. It's got nothing to do with it. That's just dressed up to make it sound good. In truth, they're inconsistent. They're being massively hypocritical and they're hugely selfish. Their values are just based on what's beneficial for them. Men, stop falling for it. I want to give a shout out to all of those high quality women who are consistent in this regard and stick to their principles. You guys have my respect. But for all those women who are being hypocrites, who are shaming men for their promiscuous behavior while being completely inconsistent in the application of those values, shame on you. You have no moral high ground to stand on. You're just being selfish. And so I hope you take from this video the lesson that you cannot just accept a woman's moral judgments at face value. Before you believe her, ask some follow-up questions. Have your own criteria. But please be prepared that what you may discover at the core of a woman's psychology is not virtue. It's just raw, naked selfishness. Hey guys, celebrate the start of the month. I'm releasing a free bonus video. If you are getting rejected by women, if you're failing with women, this video is going to teach you how to take that less personally. It's available for free on my Patreon. Link in the description box below.